Welcome back to another R Sport Squared video. Today we are opening a Series 1 21 22 tin. So hopefully we have some luck in the young guns. I think you should get two young guns per tin. Yeah, and aside from that, we have eight cards per pack, nine packs in this tin, and one bonus OP cheap glossy pack. So let's open the tin and see what we can find. So one thing you do get is a very nice uh, tin with McDavid on it. So that's always nice. A decent collectible there into our first pack. Just uh, go through the base really quickly here. There's a checklist with uh, Jason Robertson and Kirill Kaprizov and a uh, electromagnetic with Taylor Hall. There's a Kirill second year. Nothing great in that first pack. Into the second pack here. Yeah, so hopefully we can uh, hit on some good young guns in this. Our uh, luck with the uh, Series 1 young guns so far hasn't been very uh, great, so hopefully we can get some uh, good ones today. There's, there's our first young gun, Joey Keane of the Canes. It's not one of the better ones, but uh, first young gun of the tin so far. Yeah, so picked up our uh, first young guns of the tin there. Not uh, one of the uh, ones you want per se, but uh, young guns nevertheless. There looks like a Dazzler in this pack. Uh, Elias Lindholm, Dazzler from the Calgary Flames. I don't know if that's a gold Dazzler. Yeah, it looks to be a gold Dazzler of Lindholm. Probably get one of those per tin, I imagine. So two packs left in our first stack, the right stack. Chris Tierney. And there's a UD canvas of Brock Besser from the Canucks. I like the uh, canvas. I prefer getting a, it would be nice to get a Young Guns canvas. Last pack of the first stack. Yeah, it seems the uh, canvas is one of the um, insert cards that stayed with Upper Deck uh, through the years. They've had a lot of new inserts in the past couple of years, but that one seemed to uh, stay. And there's the Hondo P, speaking of inserts, uh, one that I really don't like, Joe Pavelski. It's not the best insert. I'm not too sure if it'll stick around for next year. So really nothing great in those first few packs. Hopefully we have better luck in our second stack. So I think we'll uh, set aside the uh, the glossy pack and go just to the regular packs. So it looks like we have uh, three regular packs remaining and then the uh, bonus glossy pack. Blackwood, there's our second young guns, uh, Jack Aiken. Not the best one there again. Unfortunately, not the best young guns in this uh, tin. Hopefully we can get get lucky and get a third um, or a young guns canvas maybe but yeah we haven't had much luck at all in series one we have not got the zegris or the cool caulfield open quite a few different blasters and mega box and no luck um, and this one looks like an all base pack down to the final pack hopefully we get some luck in the final regular pack Lowry, Carter Fahegi, and there's a honor roll of uh, Ryan O'Reilly. I've actually seen that quite a few times in our boxes. And nothing really great in that in that pack either. Yeah, so uh, nothing super great in those uh, last couple packs we did pick up on that other young guns, but uh, nothing super great. So hopefully we get some good cards in our glossy pack. So there's uh, three cards in the glossy pack. we have here is a Shane Pinto, so a decent rookie. Probably get the better rookies, I imagine, in the glossy packs. This looks like a gold glossy of uh, 
Denisenko from the Florida Panthers. And the final one is a Cam York glossy. So really nothing great in that tin overall. You do pick up a nice looking tin, a couple young guns, uh, but unless you hit on a really good young guns, um, probably not, not worth the money overall, but um, fun rip and a cool collectible tin, but maybe save your money and see if Series 2 is any better. Yeah, so thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment what you think of the uh, new tin this year, and we'll see you next time.